Oh my god, welcome everyone. What an, what an unexpected and explosive start right there to Cyber Slam. It is Random Gamer 800 here, and Grayson Waller did not take too kindly to that slap by Green Mini as he delivers a neck breaker. And oh, they straight up shooting now in the corner. Oh my god, this is a UFC fight now. Welcome everyone to the Cyber Slam after the Royal Rumble here and a qu quick kick out there from Green Mini as we experience all the well all the fallout all the impacts of the Royal Rumble uh, as you'll see most superstars have been involved in the Royal Rumble in some way or shape or form they're all here on this episode and speaking of making an impact on the Royal Rumble these two you can kind of say they had somewhat disappointing results at the Royal Rumble Green Mini losing in two of his matches and then of course Grayson Waller losing to Triple R hopeful up wait a minute wait a minute oh my god got it scouted Green Mini got it scouted and he's straight up shooting he's punching he's UFCing all over Grayson Waller here. Oh, he's fired up. He's fired up. So essentially, both these, uh, both of these superstars here, need some kind of momentum to bounce back. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. He's back. Is oh, he's not done. He's not finished. Green means not finished. Still shooting. Oh my god, he really might be shooting on Grayson Waller here. That disrespect early on the match still lingering on Green Mini's mind. There is a count out still in play though. It is at six, I think. There we go. See? I'm I'm paying attention, alright? And Green Mini just had to, oh my god, what has overcome him? I don't think I've seen this aggressive side of Green Mini ever. Oh my god, what's happening here? And oh my god. You know, this might be the aggressive side that, you know, he needs here to help, to get to that next level, which he's so struggling to get. Oh, talk about a New Japan spot. That's a big New Japan spot. Big super kick. Grayson's down. And, but he's not out yet because he kicks out at number two, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Is he setting up for the back neck breaker? Hits it to... Perfection, and that is the three green mini there with some, you know, some added motivation, some added, you know, aggression. I like that. Like I said, that might be the missing piece to the green mini puzzle. Maybe Roy Rumble wasn't such a failure for green mini after all. Interesting. From Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Yeah, in, but interesting proposition there from uh from Drew Gulak like extended to Logan Paul. We we'll see what we we'll see what Logan Paul is going to say about that. But right now, we focus on La Night. Yeah. He makes his way to the ring for one on one action. Yeah, there we go. Of course, again, another superstar that was involved in the Royal Rumble but did not get the result which he so desired. Of course, it was Uncle Howdy winning the Rumble in very surprising fashion. Don't think anyone had that on their bingo card. And here we go, alright. 
Hey, oh, hang on. Oh, interesting. Interesting fake out there by Scorpion. Very nice. He takes down L.A. Knight here. Oh, no. Balls. I blame Jeff Hardy for that one. And oh, L.A. Knight with a big punch. And big combination there. Remember, he uh, Scorpion does have the big man Kevin Nash in uh, in his corner here. As LA Knight picks up Scorpion. What's this? Oh, just a very basic suplex. And now Scorpion, he's going. He's going back to where he always find confidence. That's that. And that's that unpredictable offense but speaking of unpredictable Ellen Knight being predictable just throwing punches and sending Scorpion out of the ring Scorpion bring the action back now I don't know if Ellie Knight wants to go to the outside especially my man's cheerleading on the outside don't break a quad now come on now just watch out for the quads and of course speaking of oh my goodness speaking of Harikaranas that's a nice one a springboard one only one but as I was saying, speaking of Royal Rumble, Scorpion and Kevin Nash obviously defended their title successfully. Standing, Spanish, fly. And oh, he tried for the balls again, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it. LA Knight now going for a quick pin here. Only a one count. Oh, LA Knight. What's he have in mind? What is he going to do? Big Russian leg sweep. Trying to slow down. The ever unpredictable and quick scorpion, but fails to do so because that kick connected right where it was supposed to. And now neck breaker. Of course, like I mentioned, Scorpion and Kevin Nash successfully defending the titles at the Rumble. I guess now looking for I, well, I wouldn't say they're looking for, but I guess now they got that out their rearview mirror. They're obviously looking for better and better things to come at WrestleMania, obviously. No, oh, hang on. Oh! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! Scorpion hits it! Pin! Two! Wow! That was impressive by Scorpion. Pretty much out of nowhere hitting the finish. Why is my man celebrating like he won the match? Why is my man celebrating like he won the match? This is funny. Anyways, now let's take a look at Sin Cara here. A little look at Sin Cara's new deal with the Random Wrestling Alliance. We here at the Random Wrestling Alliance welcome Sin Cara to the roster. As part of his deal, the TV title now no longer has to be defended weekly. Once again, welcome and congratulations to Sin Cara. Oh my goodness. It's time. For some beef. Oh wait, we can't we can't say divas anymore. Okay, fine. Time for some women's wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're gonna see some women's action here as Zaya Lee. Take oh my god, Zaya Lee with the big kick to kick things off here, literally, pun intended. And Zaya Lee not wasting any time here, but Cora J kicks out at one. Cora J, in other words, the lady that that WWE don't know what to do with in this game, so they made her like they made her what they made her. Face and then they made her have heel trons and now it's back to face trons but her nameplate is still healed so they don't know what they're doing all right anyways it's Cora Jade oh sending Xylee over the top of course I believe both these women were involved in the women's Royal Rumble which was won by Tiffany Stratton oh my god speaking of Tiffany Stratton next week all right, you heard it here first. This is an exclusive. Next week, that woman's title will be on the line. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. You know, tuned in to Cyber Sam for that one. And 
Oh, big, big crowd. Oh, nice drop kick to the knee. If that was Kevin Nash, he would have been out for at least six months. All right. Oh, Cora Jade, second rope. Come on, go up the third. Don't be a coward. Come on now. Come on now. I need it. Okay, that was a missile drop key. And it looked impressive, so I ain't complaining. But if it was on the third rope, it could be more devastating. But nonetheless, a Cora Jade following up really well here. Zaya Lee is in huge trouble here. I don't think she has mounted any offense. Oh my god. I don't think she has mounted any offense in like the past 30 seconds here. She is literally... Oh, hang on. I, I stand corrected. So, oh, oh my god. What the... She kicked her ass. She literally kicked her ass while, while, while Cora was in the air. My god. Devastating offense. And, oh my god. Back kicks as well. Stop the pain. Ass kick. Back kick. Big knee to face. And Cora is getting it taken to her. Oh my god. And... Zaya Lee not letting up. She's following Cora Jade to the outside here. Working on the leg now. And big forearm. And Cora Jade is reeling. She really took what I said personally, didn't she? She I said she wasn't mounting any offense and she said, You are not familiar with my game. Oh my goodness. And now Korja is that oh maybe she was playing possum. Oh Zaya Lee still connects over halfway across the ring. Pin still kick out one by Korja. Are you kidding me? Now Zaya Lee. Cora Jade though. Not letting Zaya. Oh my god. What a kick to the face. Cora's done. She's out. But Zaya Lee not going for the pin here. I don't know if this is a wise strategy. Oh, maybe dragging her to the center for a pin here? Not really sure what... What Zai... Oh, she might be going for the pin here. She might be close here. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's it. No, no, no. Cora J kicking out at two. Oh, my God. And Uh-oh. But Zai Ali looks like going for it one more time. If it once doesn't work, we try again, but Cora ducked. And Zaya trying to follow up quick with her, some kicks. But now Cora with kicks of her own. Now, oh, Z uh, Cora. DDT! The dirty deeds. Not really, but the dirty deeds close enough. Zaya Lee kicking out the dirty deeds. Or a variation of it. What a match. No. Zaya Lee. Oh, oh, big. Uh oh, CM Punk chance. CM Punk chance. You better watch out. You don't want to. Big boy. You don't want to do that knee. Big boy again. Oh, and Zaya Lee stood up. She's not taking any more of that big boys. But she's going to take this. Oh, this elbow. And now Cora maybe looking to hit Dirty Deeds one again. Zaya Lee has Cora J. Dirty Deeds. In the center of the ring. Hook the leg. And what a contest. And we have Zaya Lee here. Okay, interesting. Why well, the camera has had to focus on Zaya Lee here. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Rhea Ripley, what's she doing here? Oh, she's, she's staring into Zaya Lee. What for? What is this all about? Does Zaya Lee owe her money? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll have to wait and find out, I guess. Or maybe we won't have to wait and find out. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, here it comes. Oh, my goodness. Now we do... Alright, I I mean, I think Royal Rumble was a really successful event and there were a lot of shocking moments as expected of the Royal Rumble, obviously. But I believe, in my personal opinion, and not... Y yes, that lady agrees with me. But I personally believe none, like I mean none, were more shocking than Yan Manga walking out the 
internet world champion everybody i mean come on like maybe like two of you had your in your in had this in your bingo cards but not many i'm telling you you're making a pull of a huge upset here you know dethroning kevin nash and stone cold steve austin in that triple threat over the top rope match for the title but but today right here is basic one-on-one -on -one contest against a top tier talent here who also had a little bit of a struggle at the royal rumble and trust me he is pissed and i'll get to why he's pissed in a, a bit here oh uh, here he comes that pointy sword oh no he's gonna destroy the stage don't do it don't do it for love of god don't do it oh my god Oh no, that that beautiful wood on that floor. As I was eluding to, of course, Drew McIntyre was in the Royal Rumble match, and he was, if I. I'm correct here. He was one of the last two with Uncle Howdy here, and of course we know what happened. He got eliminated, and my man is pissed. But this could be another opportunity that Drew McIntyre has. Here. He has been handed opportunity here on a silver platter. Will he take that silver platter and devour it, or he ask? For a refund from the waiters, I uh, we will have to wait and find out here. Now Yan Mega. Also, this match may be something to prove for Yan Mega, especially those doubter who said that you know what, maybe his victory was a fluke. Maybe you know it was a different type of match. So maybe he was lucky. Maybe his competitors were overlooking, so he can prove the doubters wrong. This traditional one-on-one -on -one matcher, he do. Of course, as always, Jan Mega accompanied to ringside there. Okay, pin here by Jan Mega. Only a one. Of course, Jan Mega accompanied to ringside this time by not only Ah, that's a man, Mr. McMahon, but also, oh my god, Triple H. Calm yourself down there. Also, he's complete, like I said, by Triple H. So, a lot of backing here with Jan Mega. You know, a lot of, a lot of high ranking people here. Really impressed with Jan Mega and. Maybe they are right because he did win. He did win the the world title. And like I said, I don't think anyone expected that. But maybe the few people who did expect that are so high on him and they are so high in the company that you know you know maybe they see something. Maybe they know something, alright? But anyways, oh my god, speaking of know and see something, I see something my eyes are not that's a Scottish wrestler on the top and coming down on Jan Mega and it's probably crashing inside of him. And Drew McIntyre, holy hell, just throwing around Jan Mega like he's nothing. Like he was yesterday's leftovers. Like, my god, Jan Mega is just getting tossed around here. Uh oh. And Triple H here, maybe trying to do some intimidation tactics there. But McIntyre was already throwing the ring. Oh, big elbow. There by McIntyre. McIntyre going in all in on. On Jan Mega there, and I'm not talking about. Oh no, here comes, here comes the help that Jan Mega usually uses, and this can Jan Mega use this to his advantage? Well, he takes full advantage of it right there, to hit an arm drag. Impressive. That's sarcasm for you. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Springboard. Ooh. Ooh. What a. What a use of a springboard there, Jan Mega. Oh, working the leg. Working the leg. Calf Crusher. Calf Crusher. McIntyre in the hole here. McMahon is. Ah, Calf Crusher. <laughs> okay, anyways, so McIntyre almost unfazed by the Calf Crusher, but Jan Mega fighting out of it with a reversal. Big forearm to Big McIntyre here. Now what's Jan Mega thinking here? He's kind of just walking all around. Sending Mega's eyes to the roof. Missed the drop kick. 
but didn't miss that kick to the chest. McIntyre still standing. Oh, look at the strength. He's eating his meat, ladies and gentlemen. He's eating the meat and working out. Now, Jan Mega working the leg here. Might be a clever strategy, especially if you're working with a big man. You're fighting a big man. Oh, Jan Mega maybe tried for the finish there. But McIntyre just that little bit quicker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, wait a minute. No way. You got. Oh, my. Holy hell. You talk about making a statement. Now that is oh my god, not not again. No oh my goodness, Jan I I thought earlier in the match Jan Mingo was being thrown around, but my man is being flung from state to state, from city to city with suplexes like that. Oh my god! Any more further and he's flying from continents. McIntyre 8 came in here to play. Oh my god, and he's still not done. Oh my back and Oh, oh my they, oh my god McIntyre is proving a statement a proving a vicious statement but he's proving a statement oh my god he's still not done he's still not done he's throwing Jan Megan around like like he was yesterday's garbage no, actually scrap that it's true Jan Megan around like he's like he's one years ago's garbage oh my god and and Drew not letting up here oh and back then I think he's potential trouble here McMahon definitely realizes that the, the, you know, Yamega is in deep trouble. Although Yamega very smart to roll to the outside. Very smart to roll to the outside. But oh no, here comes McIntyre. If I were Yamega, I'll try to play it smart right now. Maybe try to use speed a little bit. Even then, McIntyre not letting up at all. McIntyre really not letting up. Oh, and here comes Mc Oh, maybe that distraction from McMahon caused Yamega to hit that. Back night breaker, shakes of green mini. No big, big strike combination. McIntyre once again throwing Jan Mega around like he's nothing. Maybe that's the statement that's being said. Jan Mega is nothing. I can throw him from one part of the world to another, and it still don't matter. Oh my goodness, Jan Mega is getting absolutely hammered here. Now McIntyre going up top here. We don't see this often. What's McIntyre thinking? He's asking Yamiga to get up. To get up. And big whatever that is. Big diving clothesline. And Yamiga is not moving. But he kicks out at one right there. There's still some life left. Now Triple H is distracting. Now what is Yamiga? Oh working the leg. Get back to that leg. That leg that Yamiga has been targeting. And uh, that might be the deciding factor here. The, oh, what is Triple H doing? <laughs> no, oh, big close line. Big close line. I, now pin two. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. That's it. And McIntyre pins our world champion here. Oh my goodness, what does this mean for Jan Mega and his world title ring? I don't know, what does it mean for Drew McIntyre? We have to wait and see, I guess. As Drew McIntyre celebrates his win here. Oh no, he's in pain, someone help him. Oh no, he's really in pain. Interesting who Greenman is talking about there, I wonder, because I'm sure we got Don Daker, Ron Breaker here in the ring already. Wonder who this Green Mini is talking about there. Apparently we're having a new superstar debut right here, right now. Oh, who's it gonna be? Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Who is it? Who the Wait, is that who I think it is? is it? Oh my god, it is! Oh my... Oh my god! Green is here! As in green shirt 
got green shirt guys here someone said go for it that guy is pretty excited to see they to see to see green shirt guys they do probably green shirt girl although it doesn't sound like a girl so maybe green shirt brother all right but nonetheless he's accompanied by green mini here so i mean well green mini ain't wrong he's green and he's debuting because we have never seen green shirt guy in the ring only at the front of the barricade no wonder he wasn't there at the front today i was like looking where's this guy you know it's like where's this guy he's in the ring he's in the backstage he's on roster apparently right now the green shirt guy having his first match here but he got a tough test against braun breaker here let's see what green shirt guy can do he's a relatively unknown so maybe he might shock some of us here oh just dropping broad breaker on the head here all that oh but here comes Braun breaker shoulder tackles he thinks he's john cena oh what a belly to belly as well all that strength and Braun breaker's feeling it but green shirt guy ain't having any of that with that suplex Oh, and what what the oh hang on he got some mission moves just trips brown brick and and locks in a somewhat of an of a leg lock there a variation of it but brown breaker fighting out of it i respect the cat mode on as well i really respect it and oh my goodness there is another belly to belly and those my definitely stun green shirt guy there I mean, oh no, not again. Oh my goodness. We might have a new resident of Suplex City here. Oh my god. And Braun Breaker not lighting up. Just throwing Green Shirt Guy down to the ground. And he's just taunting to the crowd. But Green Shirt Guy is already up. Surprised he did not go in for the advantage. Instead, opting to go back in the ring here. And okay, that, see that is where the inexperience of Green Shirt Guy comes to play. He has been watching. He did the deal. He's watching wrestling, but he ain't taking notes. He ain't got that notepad down. He's just sitting in the front row doing nothing. Big moonsault there. Kick out at one though by Green Shirt Guy. I respect the resilience. Brown Breaker now looks like he's control. Oh, but Green Shirt Guy said, Not yet. You ain't having an easy night, said Green Shirt Guy. Now, oh, Putting Braun on the ropes here. What is Green Shirt Guy have in mind? Hanging up Braun Breaker. And what is... How is he going to fall out? Oh, working the knee. Very smart. Working the knee. Right. Try to like some mission early in the match. Now working the knee. I like it. Trying to break down Braun Breaker. But Braun Break... Oh, here we go. Nether. German, uh, sorry, another belly to belly stops Green Shirt Guy right in his tracks here. And oh, he's taunting Green Mini. This green is a brown breaker. I could be wrong here, but I believe. Oh, nice move. Small package driver. Could this be an upset? No, only a two. Oh, but Braun keeps up. Oh, I thought he was going for the spear there. That was, he did a big boy shoulder tackle, but. Green shirt guy kicks out. I could be wrong here, but I think Braun Breaker eliminated Green Me from the Rumble. Maybe he didn't. I could be wrong. Don't know these two have a cross path in the Rumble. But they were both in the Rumble. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. I think Braun tried for a finish there, but but Green Shirt Guy with all his experience. Big throw to Braun Breaker and Braun might be out. Could this be it? Could this be it? No, only one. All that watching of NXT, yeah, people watch NXT. All that watching of NXT, you know, really helped Green Shirt Guy counter Bronze Breaker's finish there. To be fair, NXT is on, I mean, sorry, Booker T is on NXT, so I see you watch it. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, holy. Bro might be out. Bro might be out. Oh, good for a sharpshooter. The sharpshooter, Bron is. Braun is, I, I would say struggling, but that doesn't look like it. Braun is in the hole. What is going to happen here? Braun powers out of it. 
as expected. And oh, Braun is pissed. He's pissed right now, ladies and gentlemen. Big back body drop. Oh my goodness. Spine Buster almost sent him through the ring. Pin to and Braun Breaker comes away with the win here, but what an effort from Green Shirt Guy here. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Respect to Green Shirt Guy in his debut match here, and L, but it was an respectable uh, match here. Oh, as we transition to our next match with the lion. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's, she's, she's not twerking. She's, she's growing like a lion. Mate, I know your name is Nikita Lion. Doesn't mean you have to act like a lion. All right. Anyways, Nikita Lion's here in the ring here. He takes some one of the woman's greats here. <laughs> Apparently now she cares what you say. Can we just take a moment here? I mean, I know this is probably like what? Like this is three weeks after payback or something like that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but this is literally recorded, I think, like a few days after payback and you know, the steel cage match is still in my mind. How great it was that steel cage match. I mean that and like the street fight were like payback's best matches. Other things no one really care about, I'm sorry. But Trish Stratus, I don't know how old she is. What, like 40 plus? I assume. And she can still go. She took some brutal bumps. That one where she was hanging off that top of the cage. My goodness. What an amazing match between Trish and Becky. I mean, if you haven't watched it, trust me, go and watch their Steel Cage match. Actually, it's actually a decent match. Kind of disappointed about the ending, but that's, you know, I, and whatever, that's on me, right? Anyways, go watch it if you haven't, right? Anyways, now back to Cyber Slam here. And now Trish here. On Nikita Lions here. Now big chop. Oh, and she's going for it again. Before it was the Scorpion special, it was the Trish Stratus special. Now big DDT. And ooh, we see some, we see some, you know, we see some brutal offense there. Kick to the stomach. Just no, no frills, no grills. Just a big boot to your stomach. Oh my God. Now Nikita Lion is going for a pin here, only after a short offense that I don't think Trish is going to be, you know, going to be taken back by the own, but she's going to be, I don't know if I want to be dancing if I'm in the ring with Trish Stratus, or anyone for that matter, I'll probably get my ass kicked, but then again, that's, that's, that's another story, that's, this is not about me, alright, and now Nikita Lion sending Trish into the ropes and eats a forearm, I know Trish trying to gain some gain some separation between herself and Nikita here. But Nikita said no way and look at that strength. Sending Trish almost halfway across the ring. Big knee to Trish and very smart here. Nikita continuing the offense while Trish is down. Oh, but Trish got back up easily. She must have heard what I said. And Trish Stratus here all over Nikita here still in the um in the later stages of this match I would say. Oh but going to the outside that could prove to be a different she's looking around. She maybe thinks she's in the zoo again. She needs to stop thinking of her zoo's den and actually focus on the cyber slab ring. 
you know, because this is not a zoo, unfortunately, or fortunately, I, I don't want to get mauled, alright, but anyways, big superplex, what can she do with this, no, uh, well, other than, oh, big knee, that's what she can do, but, okay, the count at three, what, Nikita, oh my, oh my god, she's spinning her like a, uh, like a turntable there, spinning like a turntable, sends her back into the ring, and, oh, oh my god, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I don't know, she's looking at the ref, and she's gonna kick up because she was looking at the ref, see, I know, alright, I know these strats, alright, don't you, don't you try and fool me, alright? She ain't fooling no one, eh? especially me, uh, after she, I know she was looking at the ref. But still that, that check cake from Trish usually finishes off opponents, but did not finish off Nikita. And instead it took a big toll off her. Took a toll big enough to hit the, the big face first into the canvas. This might do it, referee around the world. And... And a win there from the icon known as. See, I know I paid you for a reason, ring announcer. All right, we now go to Zelina Vega who has a message for Green Mini. Hey, I don't know what action they're, they are talking about there, but I'm... Oh my god, no, no, I explode the whole building. Oh my goodness. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't know what action that they are talking about, but I'm glad that they kept it PG, y'all, because if this, one, this ain't PG, we airing this on a different platform, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Right. Anyways, now that now that we are here, we see Cody Rhodes in the ring. You lot already know what's coming up. It is our as I was saying, it is our main event time. That is right, a steel cage match. Of course. How did this steel cage, steel cage match came about? Well, the week before the no, Royal Rumble, the Cyberstone before the Royal Rumble, I should say. Um, well, Logan Paul, sorry, no, two. I think it was two weeks before, actually. Two weeks before the Rumble, Logan Paul was just trying to help his friend, Green Mini, who was, you know, attacked by Cody Rhodes at the time. But of course, we know Cody Rhodes being Cody Rhodes the asshole that he is he just couldn't let it be and he attacked Logan Paul and Logan Paul said you know what you bet you didn't finish what you started I'm gonna make sure someone finishes it right here inside the steel cage here we go okay oh Cody Rose starting things off extremely hot here not as hot as the heat here where I'm living but still quite hot <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit hot here when I'm making this recording. Oh, and Rhodes climbing the structure. Could this be an early end? Could this be oh, my Logan Paul. Slamming the leg into the cage there. Oh, interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The last ride. The last ride. Not the last ride, because only a one count. But Logan is on the offense here, and right, maybe some sort of takedown. But but uh, Cody Rhodes said, "No, uh, you know, eh, eh, you know." Oh, and Superman for him. He's got that steel elbow, I think, or he got steel somewhere in, in that arm. 
I, I don't know where, but somewhere. Anyways. Locking up. Oh. And... Big stomp to the chest. Of course, that's not... Oh, hang on. Now Logan Paul climbing. I don't know what Logan Paul is thinking, but... Yeah, these competitors are not the best at climbing out of the steel cell, in it. That you need to kind of incapacitate your opponent. I mean, thumbs wide straight balls. It's legal and a big kick to the back of the head. Nice combo, balls and back of the head. I like it. I like uniqueness, alright. Even though he's an asshole, I respect uniqueness. And Cody Rose is trying to get the footing. Oh my god! Did you see the way he landed? High on that neck or back of the neck I should say now Rhodes face first goes Paul here and Cody again trying to climb out the cell here or sorry the cage I keep calling cage cell cell cage but now oh my god and high on the neck he falls again he's Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul taking time out to taunt here which again backfires now Cody Rhodes telling him to get up, but no, Irish whip, what's Logan, big bang body drop, Logan Paul has to, you know, oh, Logan Paul tried something there but it didn't work, now Cody Rhodes, what is this, brain, no, not the brain buster, I thought brain buster, but no, they're going for a pin after that move, kick out at one, Rhodes picking up Paul now. And big punch. Oh, what? Oh, punch to the back. Oh, missed. Oh, nice transition into the crossroads. My god, Paul is bleeding as well. Is that it? It is. Wow, Cody Rhodes dispatches Logan Paul in quick fashion there. Might I say somewhat disrespectful? Fortunately, that is the. Unfortunately, that is the end of this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you all next week. Actually, we'll see you on the bonus episode. 